Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, this reading is for all Taurus in the universe, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. The messages may or may not resonate. This is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, then my details are in the description below. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've done a pre-shuffle already, so we can jump straight into your reading. So we've got calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We've got passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We've got soulmate, yes this is your soulmate. And we've got you deserve love, you are lovable. Lovely, so let's get some tarot, tap into the energies surrounding your current situation right now so do remember that energies can be vice versa or interchangeable there's no gender in tarot it's all just energies so please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation so we've got the two of wands two of cups the star cards that's aquarius energy queen of Pentacles, Taurus energy, Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands and Two of Swords. Okay, right, so um, I can see that Someone is planning to come towards you with that two of wands energy. Someone's planning to come towards you. So it looks like this is someone that you have a strong emotion, emotional bond with. There's a strong emotional a connection here. Or there used to be. Because this card is in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. So it indicates that the emotional connection between you guys is just not the same. It's not the same, clearly. There's pain in this situation as well. I feel like things may have ended badly in this situation between you and this person. This is a situation that didn't really end well. It could have been a bad breakup. You know, things just just didn't end well. It was a bad breakup. And there was a lot of pain involved, maybe on both sides. But yeah, there was pain involved here. Um, yeah, however, I feel like healing wants to be brought into this situation with this star energy. I feel like someone... Um, it, yeah, wants to recover from this painful ending. Bring some healing to the situation here with that star energy. Yeah, because I feel like this person, um, someone here still hurt. This is what I'm getting. And the Ten of Swords, you know, it shows that someone's still hurt. Whoever wants to, this person that was planning to come towards you, yeah. They want to come and bring some truth and clarity. We've got nine Knight of Swords. This person wants to rush in. They want to talk. They want to open up communication here. Because I feel like they're still carrying the hurt. This person's still hurt. Someone's still hurt in this situation here. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. I'm also, um, I don't know, I'm picking up a situation. So for some of you, this could be, this could be an ex-friend, even, for some of you. This could be a friend that you used, someone that you used to be close with, like a best friend, close friend, you guys fell out. Because we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So, two feminine energies, you know, both in reverse. So, you guys could have fallen out. I mean... Taurus energy. You could, this person may have Taurus in their chart as well. You could be dealing with another Taurus here. 
This person may have Earth in their chart as well, a lot of Pentacles energy. Or they could be a Capricorn Virgo. But um, yeah, this could be two friends. I mean, two of cups, it doesn't have to be lovers. It could be friends as well. This represents friendship, you know, family member even. Any kind of um connection where you have a strong emotional bond with someone. So for some of you, this could refer to a friend, an ex-friend that wants to reconcile with you. For some of you, or this could be an ex-lover. So take it how it resonates. But I am picking up that energy as well. Because you've got two feminine energies here. Um, but whoever it is, if it's a friend or a lover, this person wants to reconcile, clearly. They feel like you guys are soulmates. We have got the soulmate card here, came out. Yes, this is your soulmate. We got calling in your soulmate as well. Prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. I mean, I feel like this person um has never really moved on from you. They've never really recovered from this breakup with between you guys here. However, I feel like one of you have come to peace with this situation and healed and moved on i feel like one of you have moved on from the situation and the other one cannot move on because we've got six of wands we got six of wands i mean this is success on the path of victory success you know i mean it's like one person's hurting and one person's healed and moving on you know, yeah, because I feel like this person wants to talk to you. I feel some of you, you're in this energy where you just really focus on yourself right now. You know, you focus on your own sense, sense of um, self-worth, self-value. You invest in yourself. You put in all your energy and your time and into yourself, really. Focus on your self-love, self-healing. You're taking care of yourself right about now. So, and for some of you... You're on that path of success. I mean, you've healed from the situation. You've you've made your peace with the situation. And you're moving on. You're moving on. I mean, like, I feel for some of you, you may feel stuck as well in not knowing what to do in this situation because for some of you, you may feel like you don't know if if you really want to let this person back in into your life. You might be stuck. Dark, don't know what to do because this person really wants um to reconcile here so because i feel for some of you you've made your peace in the situation you moved on i mean you're over it it just doesn't really affect you as much as this other person you know you're on your path of victory success you're good for some of you wherever you're focused on right now some of you might be um, starting your own business or you know starting creative projects that's, that will bring more financial abundance and whatever you're focused on right now is bringing in success we've got star card as well I mean you're on the path of victory here I mean you're ascending you're ascending on your path you've you've healed and I feel this person may even know it as well, that you are ascending, you've grown, and um, they actually admire you even. I feel like this person admires you. They feel that they see you as a star. I feel like you give this person inspiration in their life. Like, this is why they miss you so much. This is why this person misses you so much, and this situation has just come to a stalemate now because... You know, really and truly, I don't feel like you both want the same things. And it's just, I feel like there's some conversation that needs to be had here to get some clarity. And I feel this is why this person wants to rush in to communicate here. I feel like this person's got some things to get off their chest, yeah. And, um, yeah, bring some clarity into this situation here. 
Let's dig a bit deeper. Nine of Cups. Justice. King of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This person's not happy. Someone, they're really miserable here. I mean, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person's miserable. They're missing you. So I'm saying they're missing something missing in their life. They're not happy. This person's not happy. They may be a bit pissed off that things are just not going their way. This person seems a bit frustrated. Things are not going their way. You know, someone here is just um just not happy. Things are just not going their way. However, there is um a lack of justice in the situation with that justice in reverse. Libra energy. So there's justice, um, lack of justice in this situation here. Dishonesty, I feel, maybe. King of Swords in reverse. So this is someone that's um, withholding truths. You know, they withhold information, they withhold truths, they hold back. Maybe this could be someone that's manipulative, you know, it's the energy of someone that's deliberately manipulating the situation by not saying what they need to say. Holding back truth, being dishonest to get their own way. I mean, this is why the, this energy between you guys is just stagnant because someone just doesn't know how to communicate properly. Poor communication in this situation here. So it brought a lack of justice. I mean, there's, there's things that's just not been brought to light in this situation. Someone's holding back their truths. Someone hold back their truths. So I feel like, yeah, for some of you, this is why you've moved on. Six of Wands, you moved on. Yeah, you moved on. And yeah, this person's not happy. They're miserable now and they miss you. Yeah, he, they miss you, but I don't feel like you was getting that love that you deserve in this situation. I mean, this card came out, you deserve love. You're lovable. So this is why you're on this path that's leading you to the love that you deserve. You wasn't getting the love you deserve in this situation, I feel. This is why you moved on. You moved on, yeah, there's a lack of justice here. You weren't getting the love you deserve. And you know you deserve, you know you're lovable, so you're, you're going to take your love and your energy to to someone that would appreciate it. I don't feel like you was getting appreciated in the situation here. So now this person misses you. Yeah, because your energy was everything to them. Little did you know, and I don't think you did know, because King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you didn't know this person was holding back a lot. They didn't want you to know how they really feel. Now we've got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, this person wants emotional fulfillment. They want emotional fulfillment. With you, Three of Pentacles, yeah. The Devil, mm-hmm, yeah. Capricorn energy, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but, um, yeah, this person wants emotional fulfillment with you, yeah. They're sitting there. Missing their Nine of Cups and this Nine of Cups energy, yeah, but they're miserable because they want to turn their Nine into a Ten. They want their Nine of Cups and turn it into a Ten. This person is all alone, sitting there miserable, alone, when really what they want is a loving relationship with you, yeah, a long-lasting, loving relationship, yeah, even family. We've got kids here in the picture as well. This person's got vision. They want to be with you. They want that emotional fulfillment, that ten of cups with you. This is someone that wants to commit. So whether it is a friend or an ex-lover, whoever it is, they want to commit when it's all said and done. They want to be with you. Three of pentacles, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this, this situation had a third party in it. This is why you guys broke up. This is why it was a bad breakup. Maybe this person tried to keep you in a third party with that three of pentacles here to clarify the justice. 
This is why there was no there was a lack of justice in this situation. Someone wasn't playing fair. They probably want to have their cake and eat it. So you withdrew yourself from that situation naturally because you know you deserve love and you're lovable. Yeah, free and the devil and yeah, you broke free. Devil in reverse, you broke free from this situation. It was toxic, unhealthy. This person tried to keep you in an unhealthy situation. You broke free. However, I do feel that this person that wants to come in here, I feel that they have broke free from that situation as well. So there was a fair party situation here and someone had broke free from that situation. Yeah, they have detached themselves from an unhealthy situation here. So I feel this is why this person now wants to rush back towards you. Yeah, because they realise that you was the star and this person was the devil. They made the wrong choice. So now they want to rectify that decision. Yeah, make the right choice, do the right thing this time. Yeah, because... Um, there's a lot of passion here as well. I feel this person is very passionate towards you. There's a strong chemistry you guys have as well. I feel like you really light up this person's soul, you know. You set their heart and soul, make it sing, set their soul on fire. The passion is just intense. I feel this person is very, very drawn to you sexually, passionately. Yeah, and yeah, you just light them up. I feel like you light up this person inside. I mean, yeah, that star energy. You're just everything to this person, you know. And I feel they know that you can bring healing, the healing that they need in this situation here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This person wants to return, I'm telling you. So they are working on a plan of action right now. To manifest this opportunity with you, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling, I'm telling you. So they've let go of that situation now. Two of Pentacles in reverse. They've let go of that situation now. This person's not juggling anymore. This person was juggling. They tried to have a third, keep you in a third party situation. And you're just not having it. Yeah, so you dropped this situation. However, I feel this person has now dropped that situation as well because Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this situation just was not successful. It brought bad luck, karma, you know. I feel like, yeah, it just was not successful. Things just went left. Things went all the way left in that situation here. It brought pain and now this person... Wants to return back to you, wants to bring healing into the situation with you and uh, reconcile with you and possibly hope to start a relationship with you either. This person wants growth with you. I mean, you are, you are their everything. This is what I'm getting here. This is what I'm getting. So... We've got a message here from the Oracle deck for you guys. So this card jumped out for this reading. We've got forgiveness. So the message is forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so that you can be free. This card also referred to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on to, to regarding past mistakes you may have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best, even if the results weren't what they, what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then, that you have made a better person, that have made you a better person. Yes, beautiful. So I feel like that is a lesson here in this situation with this person. Forgiveness, forgive yourself. I feel this person, they may feel guilty. So they want to bring, you know, some truth into this matter. So I hope this reading helps. Thank you so much for watching.